All right. Um, hello and welcome. Uh, nice that you're here for my presentation of how Luxo will upgrade the blockchain user experience. A few years ago, we set out starting a network or ideating a network um, that's for the new creative economy. Actually, we published a, a, a white paper in 2019 called The Blueprint for the New Creative Economies. That's something that a few years later, the last two years, we have seen the NFT wave kind of became true. Um, the first wave of where uh, the creator economy became a thing. Um, the idea is to have a network that's for creative people, brands, artists, journalists, decentralized social media, literally everything that we see today in the web that's not on blockchain yet, to have a home. And what it really needs is, it truly really needs uh, that you own your own profiles, your own accounts to interact in a social manner. Um, and the idea of Luxo is to create this place where more human interactions take place and where blockchain and decentralization functions as a tool to um, make people interact globally and create the, the foundation for the new creative economies. That happened and we started Mainnet in March 23rd at 4.20. Um, it was a long journey years before to start a network and we have we've done that. Mainnet started, who hasn't heard about that? You're late to the party, it happened a month ago. Um, <laughs> and it started decentralized. We actually started with uh, over 10,000 Genesis validators. People could send Lux E on Ethereum to a smart contract, send the validator keys, and become a Genesis validator. And uh, they were nicely distributed, as you can see on the map on the top. We even have a node in Alaska. Somebody's running a node there. And over the last one and a half months, it has grown. People are coming in. We have now over 22,000 validators and another 8,000 queued. Um, on top of this, we have to say that we, as the foundation and we as the Luxo company, do not run a single validator and have not yet so far, and probably will never. And when you look at the network's distribution, you know, big question about decentralization, um, we initially offered the community three options of how they could start the network. Uh, or agree on their own total supply, and they agreed with us on 42 million. They generated the, the Genesis files, they started the network and assigned uh, a portion of that to the Foundation for the New Creative Economies in Switzerland, or called FANCY, um, which holds 26% of the network currently. And to make this short, uh, in order to make sure that this decentralizes uh, we have said in the deed that when $2 billion uh, market cap is reached, 70% of the assets have to be made inaccessible over five years uh, and to reduce the, the single ownership of an entity of a large stake in the network. And there's the Lux E to Lux migration. It's ongoing. Actually, we have over 4.4 million Lux E migrated already to Lux out of 15 in total that could be migrating. So that's ongoing right now started on 4th of June. So you're probably asking, why another blockchain? And I will answer that question later. <laughs> um, the space has a fundamental problem, and I need to hurry because I have only 15 minutes, so bear with me. Um, and the biggest problem is the blockchain account. In the fact, it's the blockchain key. Right? The problem is, it's hard to use, it's shit to use, and it's very complicated. And there's actually real reasons for that, but it's just complicated and we all figured it out already, right? Uh, using blockchain is hard because everything is just based on the key. So the talk has been about account abstraction. We have seen that the last few conferences has been UX and account abstraction, how we do all of this better, blah, blah, blah. Just yesterday, actually, Vitalik, right here, uh, talked about this. But the funny thing is that actually nobody is talking about the account. They're talking about transaction verification and how do I get a smart contract account on the network and how can I make it so that it's seamless for users to interact with blockchain. That's the current discussion state in Ethereum. 
the real important thing is actually the blockchain-based account. It's the thing that you're actually using on chain. And so far, there's no discussions about, uh, about that uh, within the last conferences that have a uh, greater significance. And it's actually not an account, it should be a profile. Same like, you know, the profiles that we use in the internet. And I have started thinking about this already since 2017 when I created a standard called ESC 75 um, that you know, got some hype, got an alliance forming, got a bunch of projects who wanted to use it. And in the course of uh, building out Luxo and thinking about Luxo, I basically built out a set of smart contract uh, standards that we worked and developed and uh, implemented and built out everything around that and we call them Luxo Standards Proposals or short LSPs in order to define a blockchain-based account system called Universal Profiles. And what is this weird thing in the corner? That's not for me. <laughs> what the heck? Um, wow. Um, and Universal Profiles is basically a smart contract based account system that I want to introduce to you and that really, really changed the problems and changed the game of the blockchain space at large and you will see why. And, but let me remove this weird thing here in the corner that I don't know what it is. Stop airdropping shit to my computer please. So, um, so the one piece of your account is uh, the metadata that you attach to your account, or called LSP3. And you can attach any information, any metadata to a profile that can be account information, that can be smart kind of readable information that's sitting in a uh, key value store called ERC-75Y, so it's a portion of the ERC standard, the ERC-75 standard. You have the ability to interact with any kind of assets or protocol. It's a generic account system that can do generic execution. Um, but it can also react on anything. And the very important feature is the universal receiver standard, it's actually LSP1, that allows any protocol to inform a profile in a generic way. So don't, want, don't we have, so we don't have to um, add always custom new function for every uh, asset that somebody invents, right? ERC uh, on token received and seven to one on token received and all of these things. There's a universal way to be informed. And in fact, your profile can even delegate that to an external contract. That means you can now upgrade the way you're interacting or you, like you're acting on incoming assets. And you can even have multiple contracts based on the different type IDs and the different types of interactions that are coming in. The, the way of uh, how it currently works with the University of Delegate that we have is that when you are receiving a token, it's actually written into your profile's uh, key value store. It writes the, um, the token address or the NFT address into your profile itself that creates a decentralized portfolio and it creates a way for other smart contracts to know what you have or verify what you have or verify what you actually issue as well. So you already have out of the box a decentralized account plus tracking all your stuff without needing Ether scan. Um, you can manage that through a single UA and then we would be kind of like in the old days, but you can manage this also through multiple devices using a key manager system. But in order to make that simpler and you don't have to talk to the key manager smart contract to interact with your profile, we have something called LSP20 uh, that allows uh, calls to be verified from within the contract itself. So you're talking only to the profile contract itself and the verification happens automatically internally. You can upgrade the key manager, give it whatever, you know, if people want to invent a fancy new key manager with more permissions and more logic and more whatever, you can, you just swap that out and hope you have a better functionality on your permissions. And that's actually the fact we have permissions. So people think, for example, that so, uh, Knossos Safe might be a great account. It's a multi-sig. A multi-sig 
that gives multiple addresses control over that account. And if you want to use it as a single person with multiple devices, it would be in one out of M. That means everybody, uh, every of your device has the exact same rights. Here with LSP6, we have different levels of permission. So you can have uh, permissions to add new permissions, change the owner, uh, turn on re-entrancy, transfer value, do calls to other smart contracts and interact with other smart contracts. You can even restrict them on certain addresses or functions that they can call or standards they can even interact with. So the amount of uh, levels of like detail uh, permissions that you just can set here, that it doesn't exist right now anywhere in the smart contract space. Um, you can use Signum with Ethereum because your account can verify its signatures. And you can extend it. You can actually add new functions to your profile by simply adding a key value store into your profile, meaning the function and the smart contract should be delegated to. And then you can just add functions. For example, if you want to have uh, 4337 support right, in the future. Um, you can also do batch calls, so you can have multiple executions in one single transaction. If the order of execution is important or you want to prevent certain type of attacks. And then most importantly, it allows for gasless transactions. Anyone that has a, uh, uh, anyone can send a transaction to your profile as long as it's sent by one of your controller keys, it will execute and work. This allows for transaction relay services. Um, you could call them bundler in 4337 that uh, basically send transactions for maybe a monthly fee, right? 20 bucks a month, 20 million gas a month. And because you see the nice quota that's also standardized, uh, you can now interact with the blockchain, you know, and understand, not, not needing to understand what gas means, but understanding that probably 10 million gas, 20 million gas give you enough interactions per month. And all this together makes LSP0, uh, and LSP0 is the, that's the combination between LSP and ERC here comes together. That's the ERC 7 to 5 account that actually was uh, started this whole thing. And it's now a subset of a lot of standards put together, creating uh, the universal profiles. So you're asking why not a blockchain? Uh, because my time is very short. So the problem is the ERC space is extremely f uh, messy, right? We have 7,000 ERCs. And if you see this, in fact, 7,144 is still about ERC20. Like literally seven years later, we're still trying to add, add shit to ERC20. So that's kind of a joke. And the problem is it's way too complicated and way too messy. And in order to cut the, the slate clean, make the proper new basic building blocks that we need in order to move this to a next level, we need to start from scratch. And we need to build these standards, do them in the right way, clean up the old mess, make them interoperable, and especially adding the smart contract based account. And that's what we have been doing over the last few years. Um, and you need a new network because we need to subsidize early users. We need to subsidize the initial uh, smart contract deployment and the first user's transactions. Until there is a transaction relay service ecosystem and there's a lot of them competing for users and they will offer the first free account, 10 million gas for free, and then charge them like a monthly fee or whatever you know, business model they come up with. Um, <clears throat> so without a network, a new network, that's impossible. None of these standards and none of that clean slate would be possible. And that's what we need to get real new innovation, to create really new use cases and bring normal people into this space, to move this to the next level. So if anybody asks, Beyond 4337, beyond 4337, this is it. This is the exact what's coming beyond that. And what's up for Luxo next? We are releasing the browser extension in August, um, and there will be the build up number two hackathon that you can participate and actually build cool stuff on Luxo or around Universal Profiles, come up with a cool protocol. Uh, that you know utilizes profiles uh, on the blockchain, and and I'm very excited to see what will be built in the next few years using smart contract based accounts that are human usable. Thank you. I'm not sure if there's time for questions. No, All right? No questions. Don't ask questions. <laughs>